Tom Corbett is the main character in a series of Tom Corbett Space Cadet stories that were depicted in television, radio, books, comic books, comic strips, and other media in the 1950s. The stories followed the adventures of Corbett, Astro, and Roger Manning, originally, later, TJ. Thistle, cadets at the Space Academy as they train to become members of the Solar Guard. The action takes place at the Academy in classrooms and bunkrooms, aboard their training ship the rocket cruiser Polaris, and on alien worlds, both within the Solar System and in orbit around nearby stars. Topic origin Joseph Green of Grosset and Dunlap developed Tom Corbett, Space Cadet, inspired by the Robert A. Heinlein novel Space Cadet 1948, but based on his own prior work. Green had submitted a radio script for Tom Ranger and the Space Cadets on January 16, 1946, but it remained unperformed when Heinlein's novel was published. Green then reworked his radio script into a script for a daily newspaper adventure strip, which was never produced. Topic. Television Tom Corbett first appeared on television. The stories initially closely followed the scripts written for the unpublished newspaper comic strip Tom Ranger, Space Cadet, by Joseph Green from 1949. Tom Corbett is one of only six TV series to appear on all four networks of the time, along with The Arthur Murray Party, Down You Go, The Ernie Kovacs Show, Pantomime Quiz, and The Original Amateur Hour. CBS from October 2 to December 1950. ABC from January 1951 to September 1952 NBC from July to September 1951 Dumont from August 1953 to May 1954 NBC again from December 1954 to June 1955, with the final broadcast on June 25, 1955. Cast <laughs> <laughs> Tom Corbett, Frankie Thomas Jr. Astro, Al Markham, a Venusian cadet Roger Manning, Jan Merlin, a smug, egotistical cadet with an inordinately high opinion of his own abilities, although he occasionally proved himself to be nearly as skilled as he imagined himself to be. Roger occasionally made condescending, racist remarks about Astro but gradually came to like and respect the Venusian, although he sometimes maintained his bigoted attitude as a distancing mechanism. October 1950 to May 1954 Captain Steve Strong, Edward Bryce Dr. Joan Dale, Margaret Garland Commander Arkwright, Carter Blake Cadet Alfie Higgins, John Fiedler Cadet Eric Radisson, Frank Sutton Cadet T.J. Thistle, Jack Grimes December 1954 to June 1955 Michael Harvey played Captain Strong for the first six episodes of the CBS series, Pat Ferris played Dr. Dale for two episodes of the Dumont series. Topic crew technical advisor, Willie Lay writers, Albert Alley, Stu Burns, Frankie Thomas Jr., Ray Morse, Jack Weinstock, Willie Gilbert, Alfred Bester and others. Space Cadet hats, major sportswear supplied tinsulated, aluminized hats with logos. Topic. In other media Topic Books 1952–1956 published by Grosset and Dunlap Written by unknown authors under the pseudonym Carey Rockwell, with Willie Lay as technical advisor. Stand by for Mars 1952, Danger in Deep Space 1953, On the Trail of the Space Pirates 1953, The Space Pioneers 1953, The Revolt on Venus 1954, Treachery in Outer Space 1954, Sabotage in Space 1955. The Robot Rocket 1956. In 1953 a slim children's book titled Tom Corbett's Wonder Book of Space or Tom Corbett, A Trip to the Moon was written by Marcia Martin and published by Wonder Books. Topic. Comic strip The Tom Corbett Space Cadet comic strip, drawn in Milton Caniff style by Ray Bailey, ran Sunday and daily in American newspapers, from September 9, 1951 to September 6, 1953. Paul S. Newman scripted through February 8, 1953. <laughs> 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 comic books The original Tom Corbett series was published by Dell Comics beginning in their four-color series. The four-color series was used to try out new story lines on the public to obtain feedback. If successful the series would be spun off to form its own title. Tom Corbett won his own title after three tryout issues. 
As the popularity of the television series waned, Dell stopped producing the comic book and the series was then taken up and produced by Prize Comics. There were a small number of Tom Corbett comic books in manga style published in the 1990s by Eternity Comics, but these are regarded as non-canonical by Corbett fans. Topic: <laughs> Blue Water Productions. A new series has been launched by Blue Water Productions and the first issue was released at the end of September 2009. Blue Water Productions has partnered with the radio drama company The Colonial Radio Theater on the air to produce a dramatic audio version of their Tom Corbett titles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Radio The cast for the radio program was the same as for the television series. It ran from January 1, 1952, to June 26, 1952, as a half-hour show twice a week, on Tuesday and Thursday. Each story line would start on Tuesday and end on Thursday. Many of the radio episodes were based on television episodes. A radio version produced in Australia used local actors. Topic. Music. There was also a musical recording in 1951 called, Tom Corbett, Space Cadet, Song and March, and other songs, Tom Corbett Space Cadet at Space Academy, Rescue in Space, and Tom Corbett Space Cadet Song and March. These were performed by the Space Cadet Marching Band and released on Golden Sound Records. <laughs> Toys and tie ins There was a Tom Corbett Space Cadet Viewmaster packet containing three reels. Its three dimensional photographs were brilliantly colored but were taken of sculptures of the characters and models of the spacecraft and props. The story was of finding on the Moon a miniature pyramid made by unknown aliens, which led to a clue on Mars, and finally to fighting interplanetary crooks in the asteroid belt. There were also several coloring books a punch out book, a costume for children, a lunch box, a pocket watch, a Space Academy playset with plastic figures, a set of rubber molds for making plaster of Paris figures, furniture and vehicles, made by Mark's Toys, a little golden book, and a little golden record of the Space Academy song, From the Rocket Fields of the Academy, to the Far Flung Stars of Outer Space, we are space cadets training to be, ready for dangers we may face. Two other records presented Space Cadet Adventures, starring the original TV, radio cast, Tom Corbett Space Cadet at Space Academy, and Rescue in Space, Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. The back of boxes of Kellogg's Pep cereal featured cardboard cutouts of a Space Cadet cap, gauntlets, and a ray gun, and the cereal company made a direct tie-in with the product Kellogg's Pep, the solar cereal. Kellogg also published a Tom Corbett Space Cadet News. Volume 1 No. 1, a 23 by 15 inch newspaper, folded in half, four pages. The show was the subject of a parody, Lawrence Fechtenberger, Interstellar Officer Candidate, a serial that made several appearances on programs of Bob and Ray. <laughs> <laughs> 